Okay, in this video, we're going to look at internal and external links. So we begin in Dreamweaver. We have uh, our page open. This is the index page. And again, your index page is your landing page. It's the page that first will open when you go to your website. Okay, so let's start first with internal links. And what we can see here is that I have um, an HTML page named Portfolio. Okay, um, contact, and I'm actually going to make another page. Let's go file, new, and I'm going to make a page just for links. Now, and again, we want to come in and, uh, you know, whatever we want to name this, this is what will the person who's viewing our site will say. And I'll say file, save as, and I'll save it as links. Save. I can see it now appear in my files panel. So I have contact, I'm going to name these all the same. This was my, let's just say I'm saying that this is my website. And I can come in, portfolio, and use the IE. Now, another thing in Dreamweaver, we can come in and we can come file, we can hit save all. So now all of those pages that I have done are linked. Okay, and they're all have a similar to them. Now, of course, we're going to end up putting our navigation bar and in a couple of videos, I'll look at, you know, taking the CSS from this page and applying it to all four pages. But for now, let's just start and let's create links, a simple navigation bar on the top of our index page that will have um, a link to these four pages. So I'm going to name this index the home page. Uh, so I'm going to begin, I'm going to type home. Now, if I hold down shift and hit the backslash, I get this pike, which is pretty common. You may have seen that. From home, I'm going to go to portfolio, shift, backslash, from portfolio to contact, from contact to links. Okay, so there we have it. We have a simple navigation bar, but now we want to activate these links. So where we're going to do this is in our properties panel. I'm going to close this properties panel and I'm going to just open it. So whenever we want to open any of these panels, we're going to go to our menu bar and hit window and we come to properties. And here we are now in our properties panel. We can see that we can work in CSS or in HTML. Now for making our links, we're going to actually work in HTML. Okay, and we can see this little thing that says link right here. Okay, so we're going to uh, come, let's go to for portfolio, and we're going to click portfolio, and then I'm going to, I could, t I could do three things, and this is where these programs get tricky because there's three ways to do the same thing. So let's start actually first with this, and we'll do it a couple ways. Let's go to point to file, this little guy right here, and I'm going to click, I'm going to pull out an arrow, and I am going to point it to my portfolio page. There it is, right there. I'm going to come to contact. Now, I see portfolio turns blue with a uh, underline under it. This is the default color for links, and we'll look at, we can actually use CSS to even change that around. All right, so let's try another way. So we already just pointed. Now let's do browse to file, so we can hit this one right here, and we can come in and we can select contact, choose. We'll come to links. Let's do this uh, point to target one more time. And we're going to point to our links page. And then we come in to home. And let's point to our index page. All right, so let's see if this worked. Come to file, save all. And let's preview this in Firefox. So we come in, home, that's where I am, portfolio, I'll go back, contact, I'll go back, links, we'll go back. 
Okay, so there we have it. Now, let's take a look at doing an external link. Okay, and I actually created a links page. So I'm going to hit my links page. I'm going to just go down a little bit further. We'll, we will look more at format. I will go over a little bit more formatting um, as we move a little bit further in. Okay, but what we want to see here when we come to our links is we can easily make a link to an outside page. All right, so let, let's do it. Let's say that um, I want to you know, show area, other area organizations that I'm affiliated with or that I support. Okay, so we'll come to InLiquid. And this is a Philadelphia-based um, art group, you could say. Or actually, it's really an online gallery. So, and they have a lot of other stuff too. But what I'm going to do here is I'll put in HTTP. I'm going to put in the address to this website, www.inliquid.com. Okay. Upsy. And look, okay, I made a mistake. This is good. I made a mistake. I forgot to highlight this. Let's see if I highlight it. Up, oh, it's gone. All right. So it needs to be highlighted in order to do it, or else it will just, the link won't work. So http dot slash slash www dot in. Okay. Let's see if this works. There we can see this. We'll come file, save all. Really, I only need to do save one, preview in Firefox, in Liquid, and there we have it. Now, this is actually opening up another page and I've lost my website. Okay, so that is not best practice. And I could go back, but I'm going to show you what, what best practice is. And actually, it opens another window and it's easy to go back. But the best thing to do that we want to do is we want to come back, we want to highlight this, we want to see this, and we want to hit our target blank. Okay, and let's see what happens when we look at this difference, because what will happen is uh, Dreamweaver will open up another tab on our menu, on our on our Firefox um, thing here. So let's take a look. Here we see links, Maggie Hobson Baker. I hit click, and now I have a liquid opened right next to it. So that is best practice, best practice, and it's always good to know best practices. Again, that was on the properties panel, and we hit blank. Okay, so thank you for listening to this, um, this little video, podcast, whatever it may be, and I will end this, this video on internal and external links in Dreamweaver here.